Mm-hmm. Breaking news. Just love us. Another one. Don't enter for the streets of YouTube as banter with Angel. Don't break all the table legs. And no fish shot. <laughs> hey, pull up, pull up, pull up. Mock with a dissect and analyze. Anyways, back on track. If you love Gist, then don't forget to subscribe. Let's be analyzing and dissecting here together. All right, so let's let's get right into the video that Banter with Angel just posted a few hours ago. <laughs> okay, reactions. It's going to be flying left, right, center. Did Banter with Angel finally address her YouTube friendship and what ended the friendship? Yes, banter with NJ finally did. If you've been on the streets of YouTube, then you know that a lot of people have been looking out for when these two, banter with NJ or Sandra Reality, are going to address this. So let's just get all right. So banter with NJ did a Q and A, you know, ask me questions and whatnot about a month or two months ago and she talked about certain things on that video and she decided to do a part two i guess she got so many questions and decided to do a part two so when she started this video earlier on she said yes she got so so many questions about her youtube friendship and why it ended and all of that and she was like you people would never let go you keep asking the same question all the time anyway so banta with nj went ahead taking the questions people asked her about her marriage what advice she has to give people asked her about she traveling is that not bringing problems between herself and her husband uh how does her in-laws deal with stuff like that banter with nj explained all of that they asked her about her school in suka she talked about it someone asked her about deal breaker in friendship that's when banter with nj said two things that she doesn't like two things she hates okay is when you lie to her or when you steal from her and she said she always tell tells her friends that if you see something that she has and you like it and you notice that she's not using it just ask her and she's going to give it to you that the most she's just going to say yes or no but that she doesn't like when people steal from her that if you steal from her she just will never look at you with the same eyes anymore if even if she decides to still be your friend and same with lies that if you lie to her that she just cannot deal that she hates lie because she feels like no matter what the case she's not going to kill you so why not just tell her the truth she might be angry for a few hours or a few days but she still, she will still come back to her normal banter with ng self and still talk to you so there's no need to lie that those two things are deal breakers for her she does not like it at all she stressed that a lot and some people went ahead and asked banter with energy some weird questions i know some of you are wondering when did she towards the end of the video was when she addressed it so if you are watching this video also calm down okay and wait for it okay so some persons asked her very sensitive questions one asked her uh when is she planning to have kids and she was like like i'm god right like i'm god and i felt like hmm, look if you're a fan of somebody and you really love that person and the person is doing q and a you don't have a question please don't ask any questions some of the questions mostly the ones about kids and kids and all of that nobody gets married and say they don't want kids if they don't want they're going to tell you okay and as far as person is a content creator the person don't like children the person is going to tell you me and my husband we're not looking to have kids we don't have kids okay but she's never said that on her channel so i felt like most of those questions were very sensitive someone even asked her when would she and her husband plan so she actually ignored some of the questions but you could see how she felt but she just kind of moved to the next questions and try to pull up herself so please guys stop asking sensitive questions there was there was no reason asking banter with nj anything about having children or not having children just ask her about important things if you don't have any question don't ask it doesn't mean that you don't love or care for her it's just a q and a you can comment on her videos and all of that but back on i just wanted to drop this because it was kind of cringe when she read those questions i was kind of cringing like it's cringy questions to ask someone like banter with angie that you know is hoping and waiting for the fruit of the womb for god to bless her with the fruit of the womb all right that being said we're halfway into this video so let me take you slowly to that so after banter with angie had talked about one of the deal breakers which was a question that someone had asked her she had added that she doesn't know if she's going to address what actually ended her friendship 
her YouTube friendship, but that she will just keep answering the questions and towards the end of the video, if she feels like it, if she's in the mood, then she's going to answer it once and for all so everybody can chill and leave her alone and just allow them to rest and stop asking these same questions. Someone also asked her about trauma, childhood trauma, if she had any. She said she had many and that if people want to know that they should go to her sister's channel. Her sister did a recent video addressing childhood trauma and what they all went true okay and she said she's going to put the link of that has neka wongu's channel so you can go to neka wongu's channel and watch up the videos that's what she said so moving on to the next main gist on ground so when she said that i believe all of us were sitting at the edge of the chair like would she address it would she not would she address it would she not did she address it boy oh boy yes the answer is yes so she talked about she really didn't want to go in deep but she said uh she believes that every friendship is for a reason every friendship is there to serve a purpose you can see that banter with nj was trying so much and first of all kudos to you banter with nj you answered the question in a very smart way that is not going to bring any problem and at the same time you weren't outing your ex-friend or anything so kudos to you bravo you're smart girl all right so she said every relationship serves a purpose so she feels like that relationship actually served its purpose and that was it and she gave an example of sometimes you could be in a friendship and maybe when someone passes on that's the end of the friendship or sometimes people just fizzle out just like that that so many things can bring a friendship to an end and she says she's trying to be very careful with what she would say not tomorrow now people now start going to set up ring lights and talking and saying what she did not say so she's trying to be very careful but all she just said was there was nothing else to give nothing else to receive and that was just it that the friendship that that's just it it's just over and it's over and that's what it is that sometimes once a friendship serves its purpose and that is it and there's nothing else you can do the friendship just ends now there was a lot for a very long time now there's been this speculation are they still friends are they not friends because they were so close sandra reality and banter with angie they were so close okay always seen on each other actually banter with nj brought sandra reality to youtube okay if y'all remember her first emotional video and all of that was filmed by banter with nj when you could hear banter with nj's voice in the background asking are you okay do you want to take some break and she was crying so much talking about her late husband and the ordeal she went through that sandra reality so everybody knows that both of them were always together teasing each other but somewhere along the line if you were watching them it got to a point where it became very difficult to watch these these two that's just my opinion they became very toxic they the way they spoke to each other for me i didn't see it as as a joke although you see them laughing and making it as a joke but I, at the point i just felt like it was kind of too toxic now like when something is happening over and over and over again then you can no longer say it's a joke like uh -uh. i don't think a lot of viewers were finding it funny anymore because it was now too much and it seemed, just seemed like there's some kind of truth to what they were saying to each other jokingly like they kind of mean it but they put it in a joking manner so when people online youtube weren't seeing them together anymore speculations reaction videos love reactors jumped in and were suggesting like seem like mm, there's trouble in paradise they're no longer friends and all of that but these two never came out to actually said to accept that yes they're no longer friends or post anything to say well we used to be friends we're no longer friends but we're not willing to tell or share why we're no longer friends and when people try to ask them they would be you know acting like what make what makes you think we're no longer friends and all of that so she coming out to say a friendship serves a purpose and she also saying she doesn't like lies and she doesn't like when someone steals from her these words are deep words and if you can put two and two together then you 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 can tell what really happened thank you very much for watching